Okay, I EDC this blade quite a bit. It's a Spyderco Endura 4, full flat ground. Um, I use it for all kinds of stuff. Uh, when I'm cooking meals or sometimes I use it when I'm eating, I use it for cutting open packages and boxes and anything that you could cut with a knife, I, I use this thing for. And um, it's getting kind of gummed up. You can't really, probably can't really see in there that well, but uh, it's just kind of festering a little bit. And um, I was going to clean it and I figured I would just take it apart and do a uh, disassembly, reassembly video. I've uh, never taken this knife or any other Endura apart before, so we'll see how it goes. Y'all might get lucky and I could cut myself real good. If, uh, if that happens, it will get posted. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Some of the stuff that I use for cleaning, um, rubbing alcohol. This is a great little kit that I picked up at uh, Home Depot for about 20 bucks. It has every single kind of attachment that you could possibly need. And then I have a few Allen wrenches in there that I use that uh, may fit something that uh, is not in the kit. And then uh, some ballast on. I don't uh, think I need to take this clip off. I'm pretty sure that doesn't go any further than the uh, FRN handle. So um, let's go ahead and get to work here and see what we can do. I bet you this thing's going to come apart a whole heck of a lot easier than it's going to go back together. This uh, blade sees a lot of action that it probably shouldn't. It, um, it gets wet an awful lot and I usually try to keep a can of air around so uh, I can spray it out. But uh, I don't have any right now. I don't know if you can tell but that looks like a little bit of rust on that, um, on that screw. All right, now that they're out, we're gonna take out this I think it's called the hinge pin, maybe. All right. Yeah, you can see. I mean, look, you can you can even see little bits of rust on that uh, on the scale liners. A little bit of lint around there. It's all wet. Tell you what, that thing doesn't want to go apart. Oh, the spring just popped. Let's try using a flat blade to screwdriver to pull that apart. Where's the blade? You can see it's kind of grimy. This does not want to come apart. There is the locking mechanism. spring okay we have yeah these these bushings you got to be careful with them they can bend very easily and you can see that thing is festering and you can see some gunk down in there 
Some people will take these apart and leave this piece on, the spacer, but we're taking it off. I guess we could push these pins out and get it out that way. You have to be careful putting these pins in and out. They have flat spots on them. You gotta make sure that they're lined up when you put them back in. I can have it, this thing I don't wanna come apart. Don't want to break this. I'll tell you what, some of these look to be pretty, pretty bad shape. I'm glad I'm taking this apart. I don't know if this voids your warranty or not. And uh, like I said, this is the first time I've. You know what? I am a ding a ling. These are screwed into that scale. I'm sure somebody watching this sometime will see that and be like, that guy don't know what he's doing. You, you'd probably be right. <laughs> now look how easy. But yeah, this thing is, this thing is boogered up. All right, well, the first thing I want to do is take a paper towel and I'm going to use a uh, I feel like I should wash my hands, it's so dirty. I'm gonna use some of this alcohol to clean these scales up. One's down. Clean the spacer up. Like I said, I use this thing an awful lot, and it. Uh, it gets wet and it gets, you know, used to cut. I've taken, you know, use it on fishing trips. Like I said, I use it cooking, use it uh, to open up packages or boxes or mail or just about anything that needs to be cut and not hook up with it. So um, I'm actually glad I decided to take this thing apart and clean it out. I was having some trouble, I didn't say trouble, but I noticed it was having some issues deploying and, uh, like I said, when I looked in there, I could just see it was gummed up pretty good, so. Now these bushings, you gotta be really, really careful. Dirt and grime will stick to those things so easy. And um, you can bend these things. I actually took a knife apart once before, and uh, when I put it back together, it was even worse. And that's because I had some damage to these bushings. So you just gotta really, really, really be careful with them. Well, 
One thing I, I'm always curious about is a, this is a VG10 blade. I wonder if the if the lock is VG10. I imagine this is going to go together somewhat like that. Let's go ahead and clean this guy. All right, everything looks to be pretty clean. Let's see if we can get this thing back together. But before we do that, first things first, 